Hey, what's up? I'm Planet Walk, and welcome back to recreating Agar in Game Maker. Now, where we left off, we had put zooming in, but zooming, although it worked, well, it still does work, left us with a little bit of a problem, and that was when it got close to the boundary, the game started looking a little bit weird. So, this is a way to stop the game from looking weird. And to do that, we've got to go into our room, go into settings, and we've got to add 2000 to the width. Ah, the width makes it 7000, and 2000 to the height, which makes it 7000. Now I've gone a bit overboard here, but it's just to keep it even. And to keep it a number that is easy to remember as well. 640, it could have done that, but a thousand is much more. I just like a thousand much better. So now we've got to go into the controller. We've got to make it so that when it's generating mass, it doesn't create mass within the 1000 padding, which is which is what I'm pretty much what I'm creating, padding to the side, so that it looks normal. And that's how Agar actually does it, they have padding on the side. So, how I'm going to create that is I'm going to so, when we go the range, we've got to make it so that it's, it's a thousand here, so that's the last range, and we're going to go minus a thousand. So that becomes a thousand minus a thousand. So that's good, that's good. But yeah, what we have to do is we have to go to the player and stop it from going below a thousand. Okay, so how I'm going to do this is I am going to go to the step event, the move one, which pretty much says that it can move anywhere towards the mouse. We're going to restrict that. So, We're going to say if and we're going to take this and we're going to go as more than a thousand, no larger than a thousand. <laughs> My brain's not properly turned on today. Actually, I'm going to create a variable just to simplify things. So we're going to call this um, next x. I'm going to make it. So that will be equal to that. So we're just going to use next x. And we're going to add it up here as well as next y. Reason being is because it's a lot easier to use variables. It makes your code look a bit cleaner and other people can understand it. And we're going to go room width minus a thousand. So this should work. Now 
now we're going to do the same sort of thing here except we're going to go down here and change it up a little bit by changing this to Y. And this is meant to be X. Silly me. Okay. We're just going to set next Y to the Y version of it. Uh, one thing we've got to do is an else statement. And that's saying if it's not, um, then we're going to move it. And the way that we're going to do that is by go going x becomes. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Yes, it is going to be a little bit tricky. So we're going to have to open up this else. Because it's pretty much, here it's testing if it's, it's more in the parameters. We've got to set x to the parameters. So, we need take I'm going to have to say if next x is smaller than a thousand x oh, this is simple actually oh, if. never mind what I said before I was overthinking the thing too much Now I can just put now I can just put this down here and change all the x's to y's. Now there is something that I suspect I'm gonna get and I suspect it's going to just lock up on me. The game's just gonna lock up on me. And the reason why I suspect that's gonna happen is because I do not know where my player object is. Okay, so my name cell. Seems to be going all nice and well. Now we've got this. And so okay, so here's something we have got. And my prediction of it locking up wasn't true either. So I made it loop around, which is cool. I can live with that, but I don't want it looping around. So first off, we've got to change this to room height. Okay. We've got to check if it's larger. And we might as well put it in else. So that's what happened. Okay, let's test this out. Seems to be going good. So, seems to be going good. Some things could be changed, but all in all, it seems to be good. That was a very simple video, compared to a lot of the other ones. That was adding padding in Agar. So, 
leave a like and subscribe if you like that video. Make sure you watch all the other videos if you haven't watched them because it's a big series. This is the fourth one. Fourth. And leave a comment if you're unsure of anything. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.